I'm Linda with Christina Beauregard, and I have I am at the Dr. Morris Level Two Conference uh, in Punta Gorda, in Florida, and uh, I am a vendor here at this moment, and I brought my John of God crystal bed so that people could experience the um, five different elements of healing that the crystal bed actually offers, and the five different elements are. Uh, crystal, of course, this is a crystal bed. It's also color, uh, it's also light, and there's also sound. Uh, you listen to some music that was pre recorded at the Casa down in Brazil. And um, the fifth element of healing is the entities that work with John of God, who is a healer in Abijanya, Brazil. Um, uh, the uh, Ascended Masters and whoever he incorporates for healing at the time actually come into the healing um, Here as well for anyone that has a John of God crystal bed So it's a five-part healing modality. So you get the light color sound uh, Crystal and then you also get the healing energies of those that you might pray to you know uh, Jesus Mary or whoever and so what the purpose of this is, is to restore balance in the body, to bring a place of peace and harmony within the various different chakra systems. So how that works is there's one crystal for each of the seven different chakras. And the crystals that are used are actually uh, pure quartz crystal, and I'm using here an obsidian crystal that's shaped similarly, just for demonstration purposes. But all of these crystals are actually honed from one big block of the same quartz crystal in Brazil. And it's, this is a Vogel-shaped crystal. And John Vogel, named after John Vogel, who was actually a research scientist uh, for IBM for 27 years. He was um, experimenting with different shapes and different um, uh, types of crystals to find out which ones and which shapes would actually produce the highest level of energy and frequency. And as you may know, um, crystals of all kinds have an energy and a frequency all their own. But when they are um, uh, manufactured and, and honed into different shapes and um, uh, different types of crystals, the energy frequency can actually be increased. So in each one of these sockets, it, representing each one of the seven chakras, there is a crystal that is shaped like this called the Vogel crystal. And it sits in the socket like this. This is considered the female end of the crystal. And when the light and the color come through this end of the crystal, the frequency is heightened. And the frequency travels down through the crystal to the smaller end of it and it picks up frequency and it picks up speed so that by the time it gets down to the point, the intensity of that energy that's coming through there actually enters the, the chakra. When you lie down on the table, we line these up so that they're in line with each of your major seven chakras. So the energy goes into that chakra. And the purpose, of course, is it is for to completely balance and to um, bring about a state of peace. Now this system can do this by itself so we have to have the recipient have of course an open mind and an open heart and what we ask people to do is to set an intention for a healing when they lie down on the bed the intention could be something mental emotional spiritual or physical and whatever people receive is what they were meant to get from the healing people can experience different things on the crystal bed sometimes um, you will feel uh, sensations, perhaps a light breeze, or you might even visually see someone um, in your imagination or in your vision. Um, you might see bright colors. Um, you could even see ancestors of the past. So the five-part healing mechanism here um, is an amazing treatment, uh, an amazing session for people who want to begin to release. So sometimes people get off the table and they say, oh, well, I didn't really have too much of an experience. And I said, don't be too sure, mm -hmm. because the energy stays with you for two or three days, at least after, um, uh, after a session. And all of a sudden, a day or two later, you might experience um, suddenly something triggers and you, have, uh, you break down in tears. Or you could you know, have an outburst of laughter. Well, all of these energies that are happening to you uh, could be a result of the experience on the crystal bed. 
And the whole purpose of this is to not just bring peace and balance to people, but also allow whatever blockages and stressors that could be inside the body to help release them. So when you have an outburst of tears or perhaps a memory comes up from something that was deeply buried years ago that you haven't actually dealt with, this system actually helps to bring that up so that you can deal with it, release it, and then finally let it go. Because many times when we hold on to emotions and stressors in our life, they affect different parts of our body, and then that turns into a physical ailment some, at some point down the road. So what this does is it helps, to, helps us to begin to release things that are um, deeply buried so that we can let them go and bring them up and deal with them. So um, the other thing we do here is once uh, the recipient lies down on the bed, is I put these noise canceling Bose headphones on so that it blocks out any surrounding noise or as much as possible anyway at a conference. And uh, then I put this soft eye pillow over the eyes and it doesn't matter if you're awake during the thing, during the session or if you're actually asleep. Uh, if you fall asleep, that's good too. So the whole point is to try to quiet the mind as much as possible and to allow the system and your own body, your mind, your spirit, and your soul to actually do the work and um, to just enjoy it. Gary is actually going to be my next recipient. So. Oh, yes. I'm going to put this under your knees just so that um, your back is comfortable for anybody who, oh, we want your head on there, on the pillow, so scooch down as far as you can so you can, okay, that's good. That's perfect. Yeah, I'm not the tallest guy in the world, so that's a... Now, do you want to be covered up? Sure. Okay. <clears throat> and don't cross anything, uh, okay. hands, fingers, toes. We want to let the energy enter the body and flow just as smoothly as possible. Snug as a bug in a rug. As snug as a bug in a rug, and I'm just going to push this down just a little bit. You, of course, have the crown chakra, the third eye chakra, the throat chakra, the heart, the solar plexus, the sacral, and the root chakra. Once I get these on, we're going to start the music and um, adjust the volume to make sure. Oops, to make sure that that's okay for you. Well, they're uh, noise canceling. <laughs> and the last thing we do is to ask you to set an intention for the healing. Mm -hmm. You can bring in your ascended masters, your guides, your uh, spirit guides, your angels fairies, whoever it is that kind of helps you out, or people that you pray to, whatever faith you have, if any, or none at all. It doesn't matter. The system is going to work for you. So, how's the volume? It's good. Good? Okay, so take a couple of deep breaths. Like I, you know, if you have your eyes closed, that a traffic light and the lights flashing, you can just see a color. 
that's what it was. But it started out with red and ended up being blue and purple. Hmm. So do you have any um, experiences that you might want to share? Uh, as I thought about different areas, I could feel the, I could feel those areas, like my left kidney is my weakest kidney, and I could feel it, it was like a, I definitely wouldn't call it a pain, but it was energy in that, in that kidney, like it was expanding it, or I don't know how to explain it, but uh, in my chest, uh, not really in my knees, but more air, more areas like that, I can't remember what they are now, uh, my throat. Good. Uh, Did had, you had mucus coming. There you go. Coming out. That's what that's what this conference is all about, getting rid of mucus. Yep. <laughs> At one level or another, right? That's right. That's right. Great. Now, so. you don't have to share this, but did your um, your experience relate at all to the intention that you set? Yes. Okay. Com completely. Wonderful. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. So. Uh, better understanding, expansion of uh, understanding. I don't know if I'd consider it consciousness, but uh, some things that will help, I believe, in the future as I move forward. Awesome. Uh, yeah, clarity was, was big. Well, the biggest part about this service, this system, is to receive with an open heart. Mm -hmm. and an open mind to allow those things to come up and it seems like you certainly had a lot of that happening with you so we know your heart's already open anyway but you so. know it's, it's funny is normally with everything I fall asleep mm -hmm. I don't think I was asleep at all not once different, was, yeah great because different people experience the energies differently mm -hmm. because um, when you have the intensity coming into your body of uh, the flow of energy. You know, it's like getting an acupuncture treatment. Mm -hmm. You know, in acupuncture, they, uh, I'm just using an example here, but they stick you in the, in the ear with a needle and then in your right ear and your left foot. And that's help to, helping to do what? Create an energy flow so that mm -hmm. it releases blockages. You know, like a small river that's got some stones or some debris in it from uh, some beavers building a dam or whatever, you know, then you've got the release that happens. So the same thing is happening here, only the intensity is, um, you know, I feel greater because you've got all of these amazing crystals and you've got the five, five, five different areas of healing. The light, the color, the sound, the crystal, and um, of course the spiritual energies that come in that work with John of God and the crystal, the crystal and the uh, casa down in Brazil. So that's amazing. So just keep in mind that over the next couple of days the energies are going to continue to flow and that um, you may have an experience of you know laughter joy uh, you may have some tears that come up unexpected mm -hmm. releasing so just honor that wherever it is don't try to suppress it let the let the uh, the tears flow if it happens to be mm -hmm. tears and let the laughter flow who doesn't like to laugh that's right, right. That's right. so whatever is coming up for you let it come up um, this is part of what the healing is going to be for you and, and anybody that experiences this. Just allow it to happen and honor your body. You could feel excessively tired. You could feel excessively energized also. So just let all of that come together and honor it. Yeah, my whole body's buzzing right now. Good. Good. So hopefully the brain is buzzing too, so you'll yeah. be able to go into class and re be able to remember everything that Dr. Morris is telling you today. Feel okay to get up? Oh yeah, just, so far. So just be careful because yep. you have receiving a really great meditation where you feel that energy come in and the flow of energy from the sun bringing up from Mother Earth. Yeah, I feel it mostly in my stomach right now because that was an area that I was focused on. Oh, good. Kidneys, adrenals, uh, 
digestion. Perfect. Perfect. So, yeah. And there are um, a couple of openings left if you want to come back and have a repeat at some point. They say that, you know, three to five sessions of anything, whether whatever kind of treatment it is, is a lot. Um, it might sound like a lot, but it's it's helpful to keep the body balanced and at peace so that you, in addition to the energies that you're receiving, can help to restore, regenerate, and renew. That would be awesome. That I'd love to. That incredible body. <laughs> so. Thank you. All righty. I think All we're right. done. All right. Thank you, dear. This was Thank awesome. You. Mm. 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 Awesome. You're super. <laughs> <laughs>